Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Wednesday, March 7th. My name is Angela. My name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. It is a social experience because I don't look at you. I look at the chat room, which I have here on my iPad. I got it on my screen. It's over there on a monitor where we can see ourselves. That's nice. <laughs> and you got it right there, too. I have it here. Yeah. And then we have Best it in lower, the lower third, third, though, right there. That's the jblive.tv lower third. We do The Faux Show live on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Pacific over at jblive.tv. And it really is a social experience. We encourage you to watch it live. Mm-hmm. But now today, Angela and I are both very excited. I think a lot of you probably, unless you've been under a rock for the last <laughs> 12, 13 hours. Yeah, really for the last oh, okay. month. Yeah, I, I would say month. Yeah, really for the last month. Uh, today was a big announcement. I think it kind of... Oh. <laughs> Okay, yes. Well, that too. We'll get to, we're okay, going to do Minecraft sorry. updates yes. and paleo updates today. Yeah, but the show is about Minecraft and paleo, but... I don't mean to override that. I am yeah. sorry. We will get to that. But I think today we have to talk about the massive announcement that came from one of the world's most famous companies. Uh, Taco Bell <laughs> is only 11 hours away from the Doritos Locos Tacos. Locos. Locos <laughs> Tacos, where the shell is actually made from Dorito. So yep. uh, that's a pretty, pretty groundbreaking, magical announcement. Yeah, that, uh, I, I know. It, it really trumps anything else in the news today. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Totally. I, and I really like their uh, counter uh they didn't even use flash so <laughs> so that's good okay <laughs> all right well so <laughs> this <laughs> the chat room actually really likes that so i'm gonna go ahead and put the link in the chat room <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my god yes <laughs> i like the please don't talk about apple yeah i don't know what it is but apple likes to announce new things on faux show days and, yeah you know but yeah. i i make a point not to talk about them so well it's not today, the, it's it's the doritos Taco. It's not that we have anything against it. It's just that we know there's plenty of other places you guys can get that stuff. Yep. So, uh, my, that's, that's the big news. So, uh, we'll, at, towards the middle of the show, we got, we'll give you an update on our personal diet. We've been doing the paleo diet. Mm-hmm. Some people call it the caveman diet. Mm-hmm. But uh, as your shirt says today, Minecraft's the popular topic. Yep. We are going to talk about Minecraft today. And so, uh, let's see. And I can safely assure all of you, Angela's become no less obsessed since the last <laughs> yeah, episode. No. no less. No Sorry. Um, okay, so first I want to show you a couple things uh, that I've been collecting, a couple links. This is simpledesktops.com. Oh. And this is a simple desktop of the diamond. <laughs> Link in the chat room under my face. See? Literally under my face. Of the diamond? Yeah, that's the diamond block. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> in Minecraft. Right, okay. Right? Yeah. And then the other thing. Here we go. This one's a funny one because it's Minecraft like in a, like a, like an it's injection. Little, it's little dirt blocks <laughs> in a needle. That's what you need, seriously. I like it. It's so adorable to see those little tiny. I'm gonna seriously be worried if blocks. I come in your office and I see some of these around your desk. <laughs> yeah. I'm be like, geez, well, obviously Ange. that's not real, but thank you, Imager, for that. Yeah. I love, uh, Imager. I love Imager. I'll put that link in the chat room. There you go. Yeah. So you can share it with all your Minecraft buddies. And then this was kind of cool. I didn't actually read the article, so I'm not really going to talk about it much. But Minecraft for Xbox, four-player split screen, and avatar collections, and more! Now, I'm sure it'll be the way Xbox Live is architected. I'm sure it'll be on its own private server. Like, you won't be able to connect to it from your computer. Mm-hmm. But that's still really cool. Yeah, link in the chat room, uh, again, under my face. You know, you should say, you say link in the chat room for the people that are watching this. You can you can see it. Uh, Go to jupiterbroadcasting.com yeah. and where Faux Show 80 is posted. Scroll down from the video a little bit and we'll have all the links there too. Yep. It'll say show doc. Yeah. Anyway, or show notes. Um, so anyway, so I thought that was kind of neat. Um, I don't, I just play it on the computer though. Yeah. But Well, see the thing, but I think you're, I don't know for sure. I'm just talking out my butt right now, but I would think on the computer, <laughs> you're always going to be able to do like your own custom skins and mods and stuff that you probably wouldn't be able to do on the 360. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, <laughs> Willie says... <laughs> That's a dirty needle. <laughs> yeah. Bilbo says, I need that dirt. Do you get it? But um bump. Yep, I do. It's it's awesome. Yeah. All right. And then I kind of talked about this af- uh during a faux show after show. Oh, but yeah? I did this pastry pastry pirates um clockwork garden uh episode, I guess you'd call it. It's a Oh yeah, yeah. A game map and it is so much fun. Yeah. They, you're basically a miniature person in this big world. It's like an amusement park built out of, built out of Minecraft blocks. Yeah. And it's got like a whole bunch of like very... It's a puzzle. You go around and collect um, different messages from things. Oh yeah, that's right. It's got a slow start. Um, eh, there's a storyline. You can only place chocolates and cheese. And the, the object of the game, you can use cheese to get hints. Oh, nom nom. And you can use chocolate, or you have to use chocolate to get the key back to your house. So, anyway, you're in a garden, and it's really, it's really fun. And I would highly recommend it. And it's one of the better and bigger maps for these type of 
individual. So does the server admin of your multiplayer server just have to load this onto the server? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I think a lot of people that play do do have their own server or whatever. Yeah. I and you know, honestly, I don't know if you could just run it as if you don't have a server. But anyway, maybe you could find somebody that lets people log in or something. Yeah, it's really fun. You go and find the mice, and there's a big tree trunk with a clock at the top. And I still haven't figured out the code to the to the clock. But anyway, uh, now, it's uh, really fun. There is a guy in Jupiter Force named Randall. He's been on the Linux Action Show a couple of times. And he runs a really popular Minecraft server. Oh, really? Yeah, so we have a couple of Minecraft servers out in the community. And yeah. I guess he has like all sorts of stuff on his, too. So yeah. we got we got the Jupiter Broadcast. Well, have you mentioned, too, that... Uh, in fact, I even have the uh, post right here. There is a Jupiter Broadcasting Minecraft server, and we have right. in the show notes, and I'll also paste it in the no, IRC chat room. I got it. Okay. Uh, there is a link to the uh, all the information you need to get on the Jupiter Broadcasting Minecraft server. Yep. Um, there, it's not just Minecrafting, though. You can um, have the IRC room open. It automatically, if you type in-game, it goes into the IRC room, or you can type in the IRC room, and it goes into the game, even if you're not logged into the game. This is nice, too. It gives you a list of handy commands about some of the plugins yeah. we have on here. It's really like yep. all the info. Yep. And there's also TeamSpeak and uh, different other ways to communicate verbally. That's cool. It's so much fun. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh, uh, Tyler MacBook says that you can just put it in the worlds folder in your Minecraft folder. So uh, in your .minecraft folder. So you can uh, apparently play it without having to load it. That's cool. Do you want to roll this? Uh, or do you have... server. Yeah, go ahead. Now, I guess I'm going to play this for a little bit, then we're going to jump ahead. So don't be alarmed. Yeah, right? and this okay. is for Bilbo. This is, okay, Bilbo, uh... Here you go. I, I don't even I don't even get videos for me, so uh, <laughs> I'm just saying. Enjoy. Up in the morning, gotta be fresh, gotta go downstairs Gotta make a pole, gotta get my fish on Fishing all day, the sun is going Setting further down, monsters are spawning Gotta get down to the mine tracks Gotta catch my cart, I see my friends Chicken in the front seat, piggy in the back seat Gotta make my mind up, which seat can I take? It's diamond, diamond some oh, it's horrible. Never thought that I would ever find it. Find it. Diamond, diamond. Right, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. Me right. Hey, let's get out. Let's go now. I see monsters. I'll be in the cavern. Spider on the ceiling. Oh, no. Gotta get my sword out. Get ready to taste <laughs> my blade. It's diamond, diamond. Gotta get me some diamond. Can I kill it now? It's painful. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Uh, okay, but that was fun. Right? Yeah, that's a clever Seriously. little idea. Yeah, that's clever. Okay, well, and so I have a second one. If you want to click on the uh, 12 Days of Minecraft. 12 Days scroll of Minecraft? Up, scroll up a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. I'll load this up. All right. So uh, just some people are like, you should put it full screen. Uh, the, w the reason why I don't is one reason is uh, you don't get taken down. To me. Yeah. 12. Eyes of Ender, 11 miners mining, 10 spiders spinning, 9 ladies dancing, 8 zombies moaning, 7 potions brewing, 6 torches burning, 5 golden blocks, Aww. 4 mowing cows, 3 wool sheep, That's pretty. 2 blocks of wood, and a creeper staring at me. Oh, isn't that nice? That That's is <laughs> a little, little bit of Christmas in uh, whatever month it is, March. Christmas in March, yeah. Hmm. Well, there you go. So, uh, I guess we have had a pretty good uptick, too, in the amount of players on the uh, Minecraft yeah, server. Yeah, over 200 people have signed up for the Jupiter Colony Since the last photo show that we did on it. Yeah, which, cool. was, which was like three or four weeks ago. Yeah, like an insane amount. So, um... Is there a lot of stuff going on there? Oh, you know, like, I don't know. Sometimes when I log in, I see, like, uh, quite a few people playing and... Of course, they all say, yo. So are you getting bored of it at all at this point? Mm, no. I do take a break every couple days. You know, oh, I had I noticed. Think about the next project. Oh. Yeah, sure I do. Um, and right now, I'm going to one of my uh, most recent projects. It's an underwater dome. And I just expanded it to have a cow dome. Because, <laughs> you know, cows are really loud. So, um, they, so but they're underwater? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's cool. Is that where you're going right now? Yes. Yeah. But it, it'll be a while before we see anything. Uh, oh. This is a sky block, so there's a big open area, and so we built a bridge to wherever the land 
exists again. I see. I see. So, um, so since uh, since you started playing Minecraft, you've been playing it for a little while. Do you have any tips or any any like resources for people who are just beginning to play? Uh, yeah, I posted them all in the chat room, <laughs> and they'll be in the show doc. But also, um, play with somebody that knows. Yeah. The what? Minecraft wiki has been really helpful. Yeah, right? the wiki is helpful. That's one of the links you put in the show notes. Um, it's really fun to play on the Jupiter Colony server. It really is, because there's other people, and you get to see them blow up or whatever. Um, all right, here we are arriving to the, the other part of the world. Hmm. Where do you get uh, Minecraft? You just get it from Minecraft's website for Windows. You can yeah, download it yeah, for just it. minecraft.net. There's no affiliate uh, program. Whoa, are we going underwater now? Yep, we're underwater. Oh, that is cool. Yep. How do you build it without the water killing you? Yeah, it's hard. You have to, um, I use a door. So, like, you just build and keep moving the wall? Yeah. Huh. The, the, keep moving the door. Yeah. So, over here, I've got my wheat, and I've got my sugar cane with um, the water there to water the sugar cane underneath the glass. Man, too bad you don't have that going on in our real life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my ovens and my bed and here's uh here's my special stuff and then i have a ton of chickens i just collected an egg and i'll throw that oh uh, yeah i agree with ironclad no i don't i don't believe that's uh i don't believe that's uh what sugar cane i think it's a code word oh okay sure it's sugar and cane. i have melon and uh pumpkin and then this is the expansion i did the other night can I ask you, how does all this stuff grow if you're underwater? Like, where's your light come from? Do you have... Well, these, are, uh, these aren't just pumpkins. They're pumpkins with torches in them. So it makes a lantern. And they just burn forever? And Yeah, they just light that's, forever. That's, and that's dripping. Yeah, because there's a lot of water above it. <laughs> that's wild, though. Yeah, it's, it's something that the game does to let you know when you're about to, uh, like, flood yourself. So you're really close right there. Really close what? Like, if one block goes out of place, your thing floods. Yeah, if I break any of these, yeah, yeah everything yeah. will flood. And all your cows will die. Yep. And then I've been working on, um, I could tell there was a ravine while I was working on the tunnel, the underwater tunnel. So I did this. Every 10 blocks I put a lantern, because as most of you know, lights uh, prevent mobs from spawning. Um, so it's good to have adequate lighting when there's dark areas. Mm. Anyway, every 10 blocks, because I know that the tunnel is 80 blocks long, and I knew uh, right about halfway there was a ravine. And sure enough, here, 60 blocks in, uh, I found the ravine. And whenever I find something scary, I always make a bunch of glass blocks. <laughs> Why? So I can see what's going on underneath me. Oh, okay. So y here I am. You're like an Apple store with the glass staircases. Yeah. Um, so I've just been working in here trying to get around the ravine. It's actually a fairly small ravine. I haven't put in, like, fancy, smooth stairs yet. How many hours is this? Oh, it's quite a few hours. So, there's the ravine. Anyway, and check this out. I got this uh, diamond sword. Oh, here, let's... There we go. It's sharpness 3, knockback 2, and looting 3. Oh, nice. That's, like, ridiculous. Like, normally when you uh, uh, enchant uh, something... <laughs> It isn't that great. Like, it's just one of those things. But I got all three on that <clears> one. So the chat room is pointing out that uh, what? your map here has some similarities with uh, a place called Rapture in the game Bioshock, where this guy builds an underwater city and tries to create the perfect society. Oh, yeah? That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, it doesn't go well. Oh. <laughs> that's why there's a video game made, made out of it. And that's funny. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just going to get back up here to safety, and then we can uh, and we can move on to the paleo. Oh, okay. Well, I've got a uh, paleo video I could play while you do that if you want. Okay. Um, did I load it up already? I would be... No, I didn't, because I had to get the special Taco Bell announcement up. You know, it's funny, actually, doing the uh, Taco Bell thing, since we are so paleo now that we would never... Bronwyn, yes, there are people that print out their stuff on, using 3D printers. There's uh, some YouTube videos on it, actually. I lost my links. Where? Oh, here we go. Mine, wow, we've got a lot of stuff to the stock. Uh, so let me ask you a question. What day are we on the paleo diet right now? 22. Day 22. Today is 20, 20. All right. So I thought what we would do is uh, there's this great, like, you know me. I love campy local news reports because mm -hmm. they're just over the top and, and ridiculous. So I thought we'd play one of those, which actually it takes like a minute 30, well, mm -hmm. like two minutes, okay. to just describe what paleo is. And then we'll give our update on the diet. Sound good? All right. Sounds good. Here we go. But when he goes grocery shopping, he looks to eat like a caveman. Yeah, that looks good. There's a lot of meat in his diet. 
You see, Danny adheres to what's called a paleo lifestyle, essentially eating only what our early ancestors would have had access to in Paleolithic times. The smell of fresh baked bread doesn't do a thing for him. I wouldn't Just say that. Just because it tastes good doesn't mean it's good for you. Paleo followers shun all grains, dairy, processed items, even legumes. Basically anything that entered our diets after the dawn of agriculture. We're told to eat beans and lentils. I mean, they're supposed to be one of the healthiest foods on the planet. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to be. You go to a rock quarry and grab some rocks. Uh, those are high in minerals and they're probably high in, in iron and things like that. But it doesn't mean you should eat them. Instead, he loads up on berries, nuts and fresh vegetables. Uh, coconuts, foods of the gods. The first week is a detox. It's pretty painful um, getting rid of the sugar cravings. So why do it? Uh, my hips were down eight or nine inches. My waist was down six inches. The caveman diet has found an eager audience in CrossFit gyms, which use the evolutionary fitness model. We reached out to one of the leading authors in the field. Lower rates of inflammation, you'll have slower aging, you'll decrease your likelihood of cardi cardiovascular disease. It's not like a fad diet because they are eating a lot of fruit and vegetables and they're getting a lot of nutrients uh, that way and as well as from nuts and seeds. Um, and meats and fish, so they are actually getting a broad spectrum of nutrition. Our cavemen look like doctors, lawyers, musicians, artists, and uh, everybody else <laughs> under the sun. 10,000 years later, the caveman has reemerged. Oh, the caveman has reemerged. Some of our early ancestors reveal that they suffered less degenerative, degenerative, pardon me, physical and mental diseases than us. Of course, life then was a little less complicated. Little well, there you go. So, anyways, we just wanted to show that because yep. it's actually pretty hard to find something online that sums up paleo, and as campy as that is, it kind of did the job. Yeah, actually, I found a quick phrase that does it too. But um, here is a really funny flowchart uh, on to figure out what you can eat. <laughs> Top, did it have a face? Yeah, at the top, <laughs> did it have a face? Yes, it's paleo. <laughs> no, is it a fruit or vegetable? Yes, is it corn? Yes, corn is a grain, knucklehead. <laughs> like, anyway, it's really, it's a fun way of knowing, anyway. Um, Corn's a no-no. Yeah, I like the, diet. did it have a face? No. Would it have if you didn't pull it from a nest? Yes, it's an egg. Eat it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if it had a face, you can eat it, or if it's a fruit or vegetable, you can pretty much eat it. So uh, I think, you know, going paleo was a pretty big diet change for us, even though we kind of transitioned into it by trying to focus more on meats and veggies. Uh, when you really cut out all the dairy and all of the grains. Well, which, first of all, we weren't really eating that much dairy. No. Like, we're neither one of us. That's are why I didn't drinkers. think it'd be a big deal, but I still yeah. noticed a pretty big shift in our diet. Yeah. Well, and we cut out sugar and caffeine. Yeah. Um, well, well I, I, still, I did before the end of the year, and, and you... I, no, I've, you I've, still had, I've had like three cups of coffees on the diet. Mm, mm -hmm. So, uh, but a lot of people don't cut that out. But And I've had one beer. Yeah. One beer. And tonight we cheated. We had Thai food tonight. Well, I, it, but we didn't have any grains. We just right. had... It's just the meat and the veggies, but the sauce supposedly isn't very paleo. So it's not like it's a huge cheat, but it's still kind of technically a little bit of a cheat. Right. Now, some of the things that we noticed right away is uh, that our stomachs weren't bloated as bloated. Well, and I never like, thought I'd be a person to say that. Yeah, it was I've, weird. I've never been like, oh, man, I've been so bloated today. And that was, um, let's see. Do, 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 da, da, da. Like four days into it or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think yeah. it was, yeah. I can't About four that. days anyway. into it, like, it just, was there, like, there was yeah. a different size. Yeah, of, I said, hey, like, I don't have as much right here. And he's like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel really bloated yeah, or very yeah. bloated either. Like, it, it was really surprising. I've noticed in these last couple of weeks mm -hmm. that uh, I've had way more energy late at night. Like, normally I'd be, mm -hmm. like, dead tired, like, during side bite and during the faux show. Yeah. And I'd be just dragging. I'd have to, like, and now it's not really such a big deal. Yep. Um, also, uh, we go through every cutting board and knife in the house every day. Cooking a lot every of stuff. Every day. Yeah. Everything it, requires to, so, you know, something has to be cut or prepped and everything has to be fresh. And everything takes a lot of time to put together. Every meal is a pain in the ass. Yeah, it really is. Sometimes we look at each other and think, oh my gosh, I can't believe we have to eat again. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like we no just longer, got done cooking and eating. Yeah. It's yeah. not like, um... Gosh, I don't even know how to describe it. Well, like, uh, for an example, like on a busy day, like if I had to do a lot of shooting and editing back to back and you had a lot going on with the kids or whatever, mm -hmm. for lunch, we might just throw like a, a pizza in the oven. Right? I mean, sometimes right, we yeah, would do that. Do something frozen. And that, would take, something. and that would take 10 minutes to do and you eat it in 10 minutes and you're done. Now... You're not even, you're not, your meal isn't even put together for a half hour. Yeah. And did you, you don't happen to have pictures of those. Well, and he can't cut anything. So I have to chop. If, if something's going to be cooked, I have to be in the kitchen. <laughs> what? Uh, 
<laughs> oh, nice cut off there. Uh, I wanted to ask, did you get a did you get a picture <laughs> of my? Oh, did you get a picture of what? my uh, eggs and bacon in the muffin trays that I made? I tried to yeah, make. Yeah, but it's not, and I don't have it available okay. right okay. now. All right. All right. Yeah. I am not so bad at the cooking part. It's the cutting part I'm not so good at. So here is uh, here is a I've wall been, of food. Yeah, I've been keeping a diary of all the meals, and I do reuse the same picture for when I have banana and macadamia nuts because it's a pain in the butt to take that picture every day. And you have that a lot more than you probably should. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, we haven't followed the paleo great, but well, we followed. The, yeah, there are a few things that we have kind of slipped up on, and that is yeah. ham because it has uh, nitrates. No, it's been cured. I don't know if that's, know that's if where that's the nitrates come in. Think, okay, yeah. well, bacon has nitrates. It's because it's also but cured. Bacon is paleo on a lot of paleo websites. Well, so. and our bacon is not, our bacon is pretty pretty. Uh, I, I don't I don't even know if our bacon's cured actually. Cause we get it straight from the. I didn't say bacon was cured. I said the ham is. Well, most bacon is cured, and that's why it has nitrates. Oh, yeah. Okay. And well, I didn't. I've never heard. Okay. <clears throat> um, and ham, but you know, I don't know. It depends. First, for, pr- primarily, one of the things that I subscribe to is if you really eat good food from good sources. So, like, our, we go to our local butcher. Like, this sounds a little gross, but here's how I know our food is fresh now: is when I go to the butcher and it's still room temperature. And you're like, normally yeah. you'd be like, if you got like, if you got your eggs and your meat yeah. <laughs> and your bacon at the butcher and it was ro- at the grocery store and it was room temperature, that'd be disgusting. Yeah, you'd be like, oh. My well, God. like I got home from the butcher and I was like, guess what? The bacon was still room temperature when I picked it up. It was that fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. So that kind of stuff is kind of a big part in the paleo diet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the, the thing about the paleo diet is uh, the paleo diet is concerned primarily with food quality and not with the ratios of macronutrients like other fad diets are. You don't have to keep track of how many carbs you eat versus how many uh, uh, proteins and how many fats mm. like the South Beach or the Atkins or whatever. You just eat good quality, unprocessed. Uh, I guess that call, uh, just natural grown stuff. Now let me ask you this: Do you think so? We're on day twenty two. Two do eight you, days left. Do you think after eight days you're going to stay on the paleo diet? Um, yeah, yeah, I think we will. I yeah, think, I think we'll. A modified. Right. Yeah, it'll. I I really want cheese, and I really want white potatoes. Those are the two things I miss the most. Now we've been eating sweet potatoes, which are good, but I still want white potatoes really bad. <laughs> Yeah, I miss beer. I miss yeah. beer quite a bit. Um, and a beer. But it's funny. Uh, so I got to my lowest weight yet in years recently. And uh, I think a big part of that... Now, my weight loss hasn't been crazy. You've had some pretty good weight loss. I have, lo- I have lost nine pounds, yeah. which is pretty significant. But I will have to say that um, I am still breastfeeding and that uh, would burn more calories than the average person. So my weight gain or loss... <laughs> my weight loss is not... Is, uh, above average probably now my weight loss has only been a few pounds but i'm yeah. also just happy not to be gaining because i was just slipping in the wrong yeah. direction for a while and i haven't increased my physical activity which if i was really serious about the weight loss portion yeah I, you know i really wasn't concerned about weight loss jo- in doing the the paleo that wasn't really, a big thing it was a, like a nice a, benefit though. yeah it's a great side effect i mean yeah. <laughs> i was mainly looking forward to weight loss because i want to help with my sleep apnea mm-hmm. but you know, I mean, now, uh, if I think if I just kind of mm-hmm. keep at it, I'm, I think I'm going to follow the 80-20 rule that a lot of mm-hmm. serious paleo people yep. follow, where it's 80% paleo, 20%, whatever the F you want. Mm-hmm. And I think I'll do that and uh, maybe just kind of stay on this sort of downward trend for a while. Right. Now, unfortunately, I saw these today. <laughs> they are Oreo stuffed chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so, uh, so we're having those on like day 31. I opened my calendar and made an event. <laughs> <laughs> for March 16th, <laughs> we will have these. And I will need people to eat them. Uh, and since nobody watching is local, that sucks. <laughs> but I really, 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 really want these. Yeah. And I will probably get sick. And yeah, oh, can I just asking me- for this. Uh, can recipe. I just mention, uh, so part of the paleo thing is you really, a big part is cutting out glutens and sugar. I think if you could yes. bo- boil paleo down to anything, it's that. And uh, JB Road Trip. <laughs> so I've done that. I've cut out the sugar, and then like uh, every now and then you'll get something you didn't realize had sugar in it, and boy, can you tell! Like mm-hmm. I felt, I feel it. Mm-hmm. Sugar is like a, it, mm-hmm. it's sugar's a bitch. Yeah. Um. A couple other things that we noticed was uh, how hard it is to eat enough veggies. We don't have leftovers. Oh. We typically just make 
Yeah. What we need for that. Well, night. we're using like we're using like all of the cilantro we bring home. We're using all of the onions. We don't have leftover stuff that we have to throw out. We do still, well, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like like I'm talking about before that. we started this diet. I would make tuna noodle casserole. It'd be the you know the nine by twelve or eleven and a half whatever, and um thirteen by nine. And it would yes, it would sit in the fridge half of it typically, <laughs> you know, and go bad. And then you know some other mac and cheese or something that would do the same thing. And so then I'd have a fridge full of all these leftovers that we don't eat. Um, but that doesn't happen, so we don't have leftovers. What we have is just a bunch of fresh produce. Uh, yeah, and we've also had to get really creative. Like we've come up with some interesting recipes so we could stay paleo and try to eat something different. Uh, which, yeah, which has been and tasty and tasty, which has been interesting because there are some restrictions. Like you know you can't you can't really use cheese, which is sort of a nightmare. Right. <laughs> and uh, well, and it's my crux. Yeah, and you can't use milk, so making creams and things like that is hard. But if you do it right, it's it actually can be pretty tasty. This was a great morning. I had paleo fudge and macadamia nuts for breakfast. That I do not approve of. See, that's what I'm talking about. Although Angie found, found a recipe for paleo fudge, which uses like coconut butter and no, it's coconut oil, um, unsweetened coconut flakes, uh, cocoa powder, unsweetened. Dark co- dark chocolate cocoa powder, right? Uh, it wasn't dark chocolate. It was just cocoa powder. Oh. Um, That's not paleo. Though. Almond butter. Yeah, it is. Almond butter and... Coconut oil? You said that? Honey. Honey, yeah. Only a fourth cup of honey, though. It was actually really good. Uh, I made two batches, and I ate 90% of them. <laughs> I ate a lot. So, uh, Let's see. The way I eat after work, leftovers never last long. Well, dude, come live with us, then, because this guy will not eat leftovers. I always have to eat the leftovers. Uh. Guru Dude, yes, I know it was the 100th anniversary of the Oreo, uh, I think it was yesterday. I have the birthday cake Oreos in my pantry. I bought them two weeks ago when I saw them on the shelf in uh, anticipation of ending the 30-day challenge and having one. So I put uh, links to a Paleo Frequently Asked Questions thing in the show notes, too, if people okay. have uh, the questions there's, about that. Yep, That's there's also right this... There. Um, That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. This is what he's talking about. This is a Reddit that talks about a lot of stuff. Um, talks about neolithic foods if you haven't heard that word it's uh it's everything that causes all of these things you know <laughs> um the main ones are grain lectins with um concentrated forms of sugars legumes vegetable and seed oils which is in like every meal that you guys probably prepare it's 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 insane how many things are you know problematic to us and our digestion and our yeah. Everyday living. Hey, everything's different for everybody. Yeah. I think, of course. you know, I think in some of that stuff in moderation is okay, but I think it's probably, I think it's worse for us than I think is generally known. Mm-hmm. I think it's been an interesting experiment so far to kind of see some of this stuff be validated. It's been a, it's been an actually, it's, I, I think it's been really cool because we've really stuck to it and, um, I don't know. It's just a whole different way of living. And we're eating more fruits and vegetables and we're eating healthier and the kids are eating a bigger variety. It's just good overall. Mm-hmm. But um I also found this article which is kind of neat. It talks about physical hunger hunger versus emotional hunger. Um it's kind of uh neat to think about. And then also on this scroll page, down there. It has I do kind of miss bread. Yeah, I miss bread too, but you know, we, pizza. we've been making lettuce wraps. And That's not bad. It's not so bad. As it's long not as you great. Have enough stuff to, uh, if it had cheese, it'd be even better. But yeah. Anyway, when you crave sweets and candy, your body's lacking chromium, carbon, phosphorus, sulfur, and uh, tryptophan. So you can eat any of these items to resolve that. Mm. Isn't that cool? And if you are craving bread, you need nitrogen. So you can get that in high protein foods, fish, meats, nuts, and beans. Of course, if you're on paleo, you wouldn't eat beans, but um, this, so this isn't 100% paleo, but I thought it was kind of neat to see all the things that, you know, QP drinks on a regular basis here with Starbucks coffee. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> Didn't mean that. to call you out there, QP. No, a lot of people drink that on a regular yeah, basis. Yeah, Scoots does too. He told me this morning. Um, anyway, Diet Coke, if you're craving carbonated drinks, you need more eat calcium. mustard, broccoli, or kale. A lot of people recommend kale. Yeah. Oh, we tried You kale. know, can I, can I just make one yeah. more wrap-up point on paleo? And then I think yeah. we've kind of talked a lot about it. I think we're kind of making, people probably get a little bored. But I would say, <laughs> oh. uh, the whole, since there's the whole element of the source of your food and being, uh, and being you know, um, as, as organic and as, like, grass-fed and, and pasture-raised as possible, mm-hmm. uh, it made me really look into the source of a lot of the foods that we eat, like our veggies and stuff. And as a result, mm-hmm. we've signed up for what's called a CSA. It's a community program where local growers... Can- 
community supported agriculture. Yeah, local growers on a weekly basis like bring us a box of food goodies. Well, we have to go pick it up. Yeah, you pay it, and then, well, no, they they bring all the stuff there, and you go pick it up. Yeah. And every week we will, we're going to come home with a box of veggies and fruit. Mm-hmm. and uh, grown from the local farmers and putting money right back into the local economy. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of made me more aware of like, and I've also found a local creamery creamery that has uh, local milk. Of course, we've already had the butcher. Raw milk. Raw right? milk and getting mm-hmm. eggs. We're getting our local yeah, eggs we're now. Yeah, getting eggs from the butcher as well. Um, and I found another source for eggs that's also really good and local. It's just, it's been really an eye-opening experience. It's kind of like uh, going back before. It's kind of like figuring out, I guess, how people shopped before there was grocery stores. You know, getting the milk from this guy, getting the eggs from this guy, getting the meat from that guy, and the veggies from another guy. But they're all local economy, you know, healthy stuff. Mm-hmm. Well-respected stuff, too. That's what's so interesting. These people, all of these people are considered to be some of the best food around. It's like the fruits are tastier and the meats are better. I mean, it's really been an interesting experience. Mm-hmm. Um, no, the kids are not paleo. It's just not possible. Toddlers and babies just don't eat a big enough variety to take away the grains. So um, they are on, you know, limited and they are eating a wider variety of fruits and vegetables now that we are having to eat a wider variety. But no, um, not to mention they don't need to lose weight or anything like that. I don't want to I don't want to mess up their balance too much. But yeah, but they'll hopefully, you know, just as a result of exposure to us, get more protein and more uh, veggies and stuff like that and more fruits. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, one thing I forgot to mention uh, before I go, before we wrap up is that the Jupiter Colony server is still on 1.1 and it will be, um, I actually have a press release here. The Jupiter Colony Minecraft server will move to version 1.2 as soon as Bucket releases a recommend build compatible with Minecraft 1.2. It is unknown how long this will take, but it never usually takes more than a few weeks. There you go. That so, was a <laughs> official you, update. If you have any questions, you can email minecraft at jupitercolony.com. Okay. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So that is this episode of the Faux Show. Remember, next week is the award show. I want to know about your favorite beverage. Send me a picture and a brief description as to why that is your favorite beverage to Angela at jupiterbroadcasting.com. All right. Sounds fun. So, I look forward to it. That, uh, that is that. We'll see you next week. Don't forget, you can catch recent episodes of The Faux Show on jupiterbroadcasting.com slash faux show. Also, get them on demand in the iTunes store. Search for Faux Show.